Let's turn the video off different. A little close. Damn, you can see the wrinkles on my You too, what's going on, bro? Back with another video. Uh, today's video is a little different. Uh, I was going to make this in a different style, but I ain't gonna lie, your boy ran out of time. Um, so, basically, I've been trying to be a lot more consistent on my main channel. You already know this, right? I don't even know why I have to explain this. Have I been more consistent? Hell no, nah, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. Hell no, nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. I've been a lot more consistent on my on my live channel. Yeah, I know damn where I post every day on there. But uh, yeah, man, I've been trying to be more consistent, but I just haven't had time. Like, bro, I can't beat the part-timer allegations. I did 100 hours of streaming in April, and I still get called a part-timer. Now I got people on YouTube complaining, telling me to drop more videos. It's like, bro, what, what do y'all want from me, bro? I gotta focus, it's hard to focus out. I, where my girls at? I gotta get OP. Ah, much better. I'll let your girl watch this video, bitch ass little dude. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is about to be one of the last videos you see uh, in this apartment because I am actually moving out this apartment uh, pretty soon, one of these days. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, man, I'm just trying to stay more consistent and just drop more bangers. That's the only thing. So I'm trying to be more consistent. I'm going to make it happen. Yeah. So today's video is a QA. You know what I'm saying? This is like one of those videos where it's like, you just making videos just to make videos. You can't even blame a nigga. I need to <laughs> So, before this QA continues to go ahead, uh, this video is sponsored by, like I said, y'all know my favorite apps. Do I even have to say it? Prize Fix, man. Uh, as you guys know, we are in the NBA playoffs right now, which means you can be putting in your entries as we speak. We got Anthony Edwards, we got Jamal Murray, we got everybody just going crazy, man. We got Jalen Brunson, we got all this stuff going on right now. And as you guys know, if you use my code TBANKS, T B V N K S, or the link down below, you will get a deposit match, and you may be asking. What exactly does that mean? If I haven't already explained it well enough for you, that means anything that you put in, prize picks and give right back. You put in 20, prize picks give you 20. You put in 50, prize picks give you 50. If you put in 100, prize picks gives you 100 right back in your pocket. Y'all know this. So use the code. Don't just sign up without using the code and not getting your money back for another entry to win even more money. Use the code TBANKS or use the link down below. Now, to explain exactly how the app works, let me tell you first, it is available in over 70% of the states, which means you should be checking right now. Pause, go check and see if it's available in your state. Right now I'm in California, I'm in Los Angeles, I'm still putting my entries in. So go and check, it's available in over 70% of the state, probably available in yours, go check right now. After you check and come back, I'm gonna tell you exactly how it works. You select one or two, or you select two or more entries on the given sport, whether it be basketball, college, League of Legends, Call of Duty, slapping, MMA, boxing. You select two or more entries. You select more or less on a given entry. And you can select up to six entries for one entry on itself. You select more or less and you can win 10 times your money back. Once again, it's pretty simple. Like I said, the NBA season is born right now with the playoffs. I'm sorry, Bron Bron. He out the playoffs, so I gotta, I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta vote for somebody else, you know what I'm saying? To win, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, make sure you use the code TBANKS, T-B-V-N-K-S, or my link down below, and go and win some big money instead of looking at me. Other than that, I'm gonna let y'all get back to the video. I'm just trying to beat the, and you know, the falling off allegations, just all this type of allegations throwing my name. Part-timer, Unk fell off. About, bro, come on, bro. I would never fall off. Yeah, man, I'm dropping at least 20 videos. I gotta beat these allegations, man. TikTok is almost about to get banned. Nigga, I gotta lock in and start putting some content out. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. But if you don't know, it's 150,000 y'all right here because y'all can go and follow the kick because your boy is still banned. We working though. We working. We, we working to get that unbanned work. We working. We working. So we're gonna let y'all know how that goes. We got another three months till your boy is unjailed. Unless I can make some shake beforehand, but I have to see. But let's get right into this Q&A. As y'all can see, I can't show y'all too much, but I got a lot of videos in here. Now I'm gonna be filming. So we got these Q&A questions. A lot of this shit is kind of crazy to ask. A little kind of uh, Ceceroni if he was to ask me but let's get it out the way type shit. This is probably one of the last videos, like I said, you see in this raggedy ass shoebox. 
new place, uh, luxury apartment tour coming soon. So let's jump right into the video. Uh, the very first question we got, Quay B says, if we were to finally coexist with aliens, what is the first thing you would do? Shit, my shit. If aliens really came to the earth, I probably would ask some niggas, I'd probably be like, hey, yo, bro, type shit. Can you like build me like a helmet or like a, a space suit to be able to go out there with you? Because my thing is this, right? I can go on and on. Y'all already know I got canceled, almost got canceled for that dinosaur take. But I definitely do believe that there is life outside of Earth. You gotta think about it. It doesn't make, no, it doesn't make any sense for us to only be the only motherfucker. My nigga, we don't even know what everything on our planet itself. We don't even know everything on Earth. So what makes you think out of infinite, your, your brain can't even comprehend how much infinite is. You think out of an infinite amount of something, we the only dumb motherfuckers on the Earth, on the, on, in the universe? Now I ain't saying they gonna look like us. Cause you gotta think about it. I don't believe in alien covenant and all that shit. I don't believe in xenomorphs and predators and shit like that. But you telling me our galaxy is the only planet to have one planet that was perfect, had perfect environment, everything, to have inhabitable life? My nigga, we haven't even been to Mars, my nigga. What human has stepped on another planet yet? Other than the motherfucking moon. That's not even a planet, my nigga. So shit, if, planet, if aliens exist, I'm like, oh, you make me a suit, you know what I'm saying? Like something to like be able to like take me out there with you because I want to go see some shit. You know what I'm saying? You just give me a big ass uh, rail gun and I'm good. Cause you know I ain't trying to get bit in the neck and start <laughs> and some shit pop on my chest like alien shit. I'm like, just shut me up, my nigga. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Now I wouldn't do nothing freaky. I know a lot of you weird. Bro, I'm not even gonna get into that because I ain't trying to get banned on YouTube. Next question we got from Bastion, Mr. Part Timer, three month a, a stream as here. He asked me how big is your beat? Yeah, he's gay. Yeah, he's actually a homosexual deviant. Like what? Why? Why are you asking me that? Why are you asking me that? Why are you asking me that? Eight by five point five. Next question we got from Katharina. My favorite holidays. Great question. Um, my favorite holiday. I think my my number one favorite holiday. Probably gonna be Christmas. I don't know if your birthday counts as a holiday. It's probably Christmas. Cause I remember I had, I had a couple of uh, couple of stories. Uh, good times from Christmas. I got my first PSP. In 07. Shout out my 01 babies. I got my first PSP in 07. I actually got a little red motorcycle, so I started liking motorcycles when I was like seven. My dad got mad at me. I actually got a story. I was trying to ride that motherfucker. And I was uh, you know, hitting the throttle and shit. And the nigga was getting mad because I was going to, he was like, slow this motherfucker down. I gotta get a story time with my dad. I know y'all like laugh that nigga came on YouTube on my stream and shit. So I'm gonna hook some shit up with him. But yeah, I actually crashed that little red motherfucker going around the corner too fast. I thought I was motherfucking, I don't know who I thought it was, motherfucker. James Stewart or something came around that bitch, low side of that bitch was skidding across the ground and shit like that. But during Christmas, I got some of my best ever memories. You know what I'm saying? I got the PSP, a big ass Nerf sniper, a motherfucking little red motorcycle type. So I got my first phone for Christmas. I got my first girlfriend from that phone in third grade in Christmas. So, you know what I'm saying? I think Christmas. The second one, I probably put a uh, Juneteenth, 4th of July type of vibes. You know what I'm saying? Summertime, hoes out with toes out. We got to pull up on them bitches. We got fireworks in the air. We got fried chicken, uh, motherfucking macaroni tuna salad, macaroni and cheese, collard greens, cornbread. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. So I say the 4th of July type shit. You know what I'm saying? Type shit, type shit. And, and Christmas. And then I probably put a. Uh, I don't really like Thanksgiving. That's cool, but. I don't really like Thanksgiving. I just like the food. I don't like the vibes of it. It feels like school. Yeah, I put Christmas in that. All right, our next question is from 52 J Moo. Where did you decide to become a streamer and why? Great question. Oh, Y'all know the tech by tomorrow, man. I don't know, bro. I just want to get back entertainment. I've been doing YouTube for a long time, but I decided to just try to stream and shit. It wasn't, I wasn't influenced by anybody. It was just like a, I didn't even know like the type of way I would stream. I didn't know my streaming style. I didn't know what I'd be doing. I just know that I was a natural born yapper. Man. My parents told me from a young age, you talk too fucking much. They were like, my dad used to tell me, men don't talk that much. Nigga, shut up. Just be chill like me. And I just couldn't do it. So I was like, bro, I'm just a natural born yapper. Um, and I oh, I never really thought I would be funny. Like, they would be able to talk about situations. I thought I was system, sit, 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 uh, situationally funny. Like, like somebody would, like something would happen, I could say something funny about the situation. So I didn't know how to like actually be funny on like real camera, like talking about shit until I just started doing it. I'm like, oh, like just talk. And then yeah, so that's kind of like what just happened type shit. So I became a streamer because I just wanted to. I love YouTube from a young age. I've been doing YouTube videos since like I was like seven, eight years old. So I just want to just, just finally be successful and get a plaque, which I've been doing. So 
uh, yeah, man, and well, that's YouTube. Streaming, like I said, it was just like a, a YouTube and streaming thing. I wanted to just do both. You know, there's a lot of people that's a, a streamer, there's a lot of people that's a YouTuber. There's a lot of people that have the ability to do both, and I have the ability to do both. You know what I'm saying? So, that's kind of what it is. Would you ever do a meetup with fans? Yes, that's actually in the works. I just want y'all to drop what city y'all would want it to be in. I'm thinking Miami, LA. Those are the two cities I'm thinking about, Miami or LA, and I'm and, and I don't want to talk too much and, and give too much information, but just know I kind of want it to be a hooping meetup. Oh yeah, I kind of want it to be a hooping meetup type shit, like everybody meet up type shit. And okay, well hold on, I gotta keep it real. We lose, my team lose. I ain't getting off the court, nigga. This ain't this ain't T Banks fan hooping video. This T Banks hooping video. I'm gonna dive you up, maybe give you a coupon to Kmart or something. But like shit, good game, my nigga. All right, but go ahead and get your ass off. I need my footage. Nah, man, you ain't on here trying to run my motherfucking court. But yeah, drop what city y'all want me to come to. I'm going to do a meetup at 200,000, 225, something. I want to do, do, do it over 200,000 subscribers. Because I know a lot of y'all will pop out. That should be crazy, but I just want a good-ass city that y'all will be in. Miami is definitely one of them I can see popping out to the summer. LA, too, but I know a lot of y'all is in the South, so we're going to see. Too famous. W says, if you had to wear one pair of shoes for a year, what would it be? Uh, I'd probably go my Off White Fours or a G Phase those because of how like stylish G Phase those could be. It probably one of those type shit. What type of fucking question is that? Walk UD said, are you staying on Twitch or Kick, brother? I'm trying to get unbanned as quick as possible. Listen, y'all been rocking me for three months and it's been showing me who's really there for me and who's not. After these three months of getting banned, a lot of y'all made accounts just to come watch me on kick. A lot of y'all still fuck with me even though I'm on a whole other platform. Still ran up 20,000 followers on another platform in two months. I'm beating these fall off allegations. I'm beating part time allegations. I did a 24 hour in April. I'm just going crazy. So, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, hey, I'm, I'm wherever y'all want me to be type shit. So, y'all let me know. Uh, ZX Devin underscore said, What's the most valuable lesson you got from a relationship? Don't try, but just I'm DTB to my die. Yeah, yeah. It's like, nah, it's just that you got to be careful with women, bro. Like, they're manipulative, they're sneaky, they have tactics. Like, the most viable lesson I can give you from a relationship is just, don't, I don't trust people. I just, I just trust somebody to show me who they are, bro. So, if you show me that you a, a, a conniving, untrustable motherfucker, then that's, I'm, I'm glad you, like, just show me the true you. And I appreciate that. And if you show me that, you know, that you, somebody I can rely on and shit like that, the step and third, then I know what we got from there on. So, the most God bless you can think is like relationships are scary, bro, but if you if you got a good one, nigga, don't fuck that up, bro. Don't try to be like nobody you see on social media, on YouTube, no rappers. Don't try to cheat on your girl because it's cool and funny to do. Got a good one, nigga, keep that jump because they're rare. Fucking needle in the haystack. That bitch is a fucking pebble in the, around boulders. Huh, what the fuck am I talking about? Next question. Is water wet? Yes, water is fucking wet. I don't care if you try to cancel me like my dinosaur take. I don't give a damn. I believe water is wet. How could, and I and if you want to argue, come to my Discord because nigga, I was arguing with niggas for, for about three hours. Water is wet because how can something that makes other things wet not have the property of itself being wet? Is fire hot, buddy? We you put your hand in your shit burn, right, buddy? Okay. Water is wet. Something to have the prop. I mean, something to make. And other object changes property and appearance of being wet should have the property of itself being wet. Yes, water is wet, and I'm not gonna get into it because I can talk about it for, for about 15 fucking minutes. Stop trying to be different. You know water is fucking wet. Biggest regret, re wet. <laughs> you motherfucker. Biggest regrets you've made in life that you don't want others to do. Caring about what other people think. A lot of people want to be YouTubers, a lot of people want to be streamers, a lot of people want to be actors, rappers, models, whatever the case may be. And one of the reasons why I was successful on YouTube at a young age, we kept stopping is because in the DMV, it's a small mentality of crabs in the barrel. If you do something different other than what the DMV see is cool or they see as champ, then you don't want to do it. You don't want to be seen as the champ one. So it's kind of like you get in your own head because you know that you have the ability to leave this crabs in a, in a barrel ass mentality as three states. But it's like... It kind of holds you back, like you know what I'm saying? So, unless you're being a rapper, a trapper, or some shit like that. So, bitch, don't care about what other people think, bro. Because after high school, after when shit is all said and done, you're not going to talk or see about 99.98% of the motherfuckers. So, do you, be you, and go pursue what you want to go do. You feel me? Just do you, man. 
Don't worry about what other people got going on, bro. Don't care what other people's opinions is about you. you. Ain't putting money in your pocket or sucking you to sleep. Who gives a fuck, nigga? So just do you. You know, type shit. So, you ever been played? Only when I was 16. And I'm not going to go into the story. I'm not going to tell you details. Because if you're a real supporter, you've really been watching me, you know exactly what 75 means. 75. So I'm not even going to give you the details on that. All right, next question. Sleepy Zaya, Zaya said, what webcam do you use when streaming and recording videos? I use a ZVE-10 with a Sigma 16 millimeter motherfucking lens. This shit is crisp. Like TR Trey said, best you ever had. Boy, what the fuck, boy? I'm not answering that. Shit, weird ass little dude. JC Armando said, how do you keep going? When I was broke, couldn't do shit for myself or anybody else around me. I had a dream and I wanted to make some shit shake and you got bills and you don't want to eat banquets and shit like that, that's how you keep going, bro. I, I, I personally, I, you know, it's like it was like determination or motivation or, you know what I'm saying, or, 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 or discipline over, over motivation or discipline over determination, whatever these may be. I personally think my strongest trait, my strongest trait will always be resilience. The way I'm able to be resilient against all these objects thrown at me and able to keep walking forward. I'm resilient to it. Like there's a story time of my clinical trials I used to do about how I would wake up at 3 a.m. and shit like that just to make some shit happen. I'm just the type of person like I cannot stop. I have to keep going. I done went too far, came too far to let some shit tear me down. When I got banned on Twitch and everybody think, oh, he fell off, his prime came and went, and there's all of this shit just like this, this jumble in my head and just going on and on. I have to realize that does not matter. I gotta keep going, bro. Don't stop. I will trudge through any environment, any terrain, any objects, anything going on. I will just keep going. I can't stop, bro. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? So be resilient. Don't let shit phase you. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep walking. Keep pushing. Because you've been down bad before. You remember, you remember how bad that shit felt. Do you want to be that motherfucker again? I don't think so. Met you at Zoo Culture. Even in LA, but didn't get a chance to ask you what got you into YouTube. Uh... A lot of YouTube, I can tell some people I used to watch, Modern War, uh, well, he go by the Black Okage now, uh, he used to be on Cornelius 07, who else I used to watch, White Boy 7th Street, Only Use Me Blade, I used to lot, watch a lot of Call of Duty people growing up, I was, I was a big Call of Duty person, I, used, I was trying to get in Phase, I was trying to get an Optic, tell Phase to sign me, by the way, Phase T-Banks in the building, nigga, what's up, nigga, Phase T-Banks, somebody tell Phase to sign your boy, I'm still hot, nigga, I'm always gonna be hot, nigga, Side now, I was trying to join Phase Optic. I used to watch Nade Shot Scum. I used to watch Embos. I used to watch a lot of Call of Duty people growing up. Bro, I used to just be on YouTube all the time, bro. Like, I was trying to go to Anaheim to play college. Like, bro, I was, I was a nerd, bro, back then. I was trying to do MLG events. All types of shit. People don't even know that. I was trying to go pro a card. Like, yeah, it was just people I was watching, bro. Just inspired me to do YouTube. I tried a whole bunch of different YouTube shit. I tried Call of Duty, 2K, funny videos. Like, I, bro, I've been doing YouTube for a minute. When was the last time you cried? When I got banned on Twitch, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. There's so much going on that day, nigga. I just drove to an overlook in LA. I was just like, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. I cried. I cried and she got back. I'm gonna keep it real. Shit, nigga, who blames me, bro? I had to let some shit out, bruh. Uh, hey, um, did you have a favorite YouTuber streamer growing up? Uh, the Black Chicago was one of was one of my was, was like I think my favorite for sure, for sure. Um, Shakedown 2012, he was cool. I used to watch a lot of 2K niggas too. Uh, Kale hit him up. I used to watch a lot of people growing up, man. Like, it was a lot of my favorite YouTubers, bro. Biggest challenge to content creation, love the videos, keep going. Um, biggest challenge is just being consistent and, and innovating your content, you know? Like, I've been innovating my content a lot more. I've been doing a lot more things on stream, a lot more things for YouTube, a lot better vlogs, all types of shit. So it was just being innovative and not being stuck and, you know, having a certain trope on you that you can't escape because that's all people want to see. So just finding out exactly how to stay relevant and just, like I said, innovating your content. Um, yeah, I kind of forgot my brain process while my camera was charging. So I was moving on to the next question. Uh, do you plan on doing in real life collab streams? Yeah, but I'm really not into the shit that all these other streamers on different platforms do, like the fucking with people and things of that nature. If I did an in real life collab, it would just be on some funny shit. Cause a lot of these people are weird, bro. Like, I ain't gonna say no names unless they say my name. I ain't scared, but a lot of these niggas are like, bro, they just be doing weird shit. I'm just not into that content. Like I said, I just like making people laugh, like having people have a good time. So I would definitely do an in real life collab stream, but 
we have to get on a band first before we can collab with the people I want to collab with. So we got to make that happen first, and when that happens, then I uh, will be good. So, but yeah, I definitely would be doing uh, in real life collab. Let me first of all in the comments, let me know who y'all want to see me collab with. I already know what name that y'all gonna spam a lot. But let me see who y'all want to see me collab with. Another question we got is ass or titties, bro. What the fuck type questions do y'all niggas, bro? I already ranked this on stream, bro. I've said ass first, then I said feet, then I said titties, and y'all was trying to act like I was the weird one for that. But just chill. Bro. I'm allowed to have my own fucking opinion. Like that's just stop asking me questions. Like this is supposed to just be a normal, regular Q and A. Like what? Come on, God. loyalty or wealth? I'm taking wealth. What the fuck? Like niggas already been snaking before. I didn't already been then then backdoor and all type of shit, nigga. Uh, if I'm if I have a hundred loyal motherfuckers, what what that going? Can that help me pay my bills? I'm still gonna be fucking broke. I'd rather take wealth because I can buy somebody's loyalty. What you gonna do? If I pay you twenty dollars an hour, what you gonna do? Not be loyal, my nigga. Well, no, I'm taking wealth, nigga. I don't. I don't need nobody. You know, I got some money in a Lamborghini. I'm good. My nigga, you know what I'm saying? In the New York Prime State. Other than that, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Loyalty is cool, but shit. Nigga, you can't do too much with loyalty to pay for your bills, motherfucker. Shit. A nigga that's gonna go kill somebody for you ain't gonna, you know, nigga ain't gonna pay my rent. Shit, I know about a couple million will. Motherfucker, no, I'm taking wealth. Man, I kinda wanna speed run these questions. Any more driving point of view? Yeah, I'm dropping T Bank's point of view uh, driving channel link in the description below. So y'all go subscribe over there. I have like six channels right now. I'm trying to become the first billionaire on fucking YouTube. So go subscribe to all the channels. I'm, I'm going to do Trust me. There's a reason why I haven't done any driving videos recently. I got something cooking. Just let me, just let me, just let me cook. You know what I'm saying? Just let me do my thing. There's a reason. But go go subscribe over there. I'm going to be dropping a video of a, potentially a new car pretty soon. I got gotcha. you. I know y'all been begging for the driving videos, for the car videos. I got gotcha. you. I'm just trying to cook right now. Uh, when the money comes in, do it really make you grin every fucking time. Every time I get a deposit notification in my email from from any of my financial institutions, instantly I start smiling. I wake up I'm like, oh, more money. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't lie, man. It feels good to make a little money now. You know what I'm saying? It feels good. I'm gonna keep it real with you, boys. I ain't gonna act like one of those people like, no, I don't make no. You know what I'm saying? It feels a little good making a little bit of money. You know what I'm saying, be able to eat uh, the things I want to be eat, buy the things I want to buy, things of that nature. It does really make your boy fucking grim. Almighty Sue is coming out. Almighty Two is coming out pretty soon too. But shout out to you, Keith. I do that's the best money making song. I know I put a lot of y'all on. That's a song that really meant motivates me to go get some money. So it definitely does actually make me get grim. And it makes me grin that's just to do nothing but uh, motivate y'all to go get some money too. Where's your favorite memory that you had on stream? Uh, right after I got fired. And I remember, I can't remember his name. I have to go back to the VOD. Uh, shout out to him, by the way. He just kept uh, getting subs, kept getting subs, getting subs. And I remember I was like, bro, I could really do this. And the thing is, I was I was a little nervous, bro. I only had like 400 subs or some shit. 300, 400 subs. And I'm like, I'm like, that's not enough to sustain me. I gotta go hard. And you know what I'm saying? I was telling people like I just got fired today and I had no choice but to just go, go, go. And that was the one day, the very first day, like everything just took off from that day. I became so consistent and shit just changed. Just know like that was like that was the day, bro. Like that shit. I damn near almost cried on stream, bro. It was a, it was an emotional day that day, my nigga. Like I knew I could do this, so I just had to lock in and go crazy. And that's what we've been doing ever since that, but that, that, my, I definitely had, uh, you know, a few other favorite moments on the stream. My first time hitting damn near 10K on the Jinxie E date. The big gifters, shout out Milo, uh, shout out some of those guys, P113X. A couple people that, you know, big gifters and shit like that. The On The Daily was pretty funny. I had some, some funny ass streams, man. I kind of missed that, that beginning grinding stage, but I had some funny ass streams. All right, do you keep stuff your ex gave you or do it, or do you throw it all away when y'all break up? It depends on what it is, my nigga. Like, if it's like some shoes, shit, I wear them to take out the trash or do some mom mowing work or some shit like that. I probably keep them bitches, but if you mean like, she bought me Elden Ring, you know what I'm saying? I still got Elden Ring. I still haven't beat it yet. Would you mean throw away a video game type shit? You know, it, it really depends, but for the most part, I don't keep no shit, bro. Like, once I'm done with somebody, like, well, you can't really be like, yeah, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just throw this shit away or lose it somehow. Like, it depends. Like, I think, you know what I'm saying? Unless you got, like, an emotional attachment to it, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, see, they, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know why I got the Elden Ring, you know what I'm saying? I said she bought me, I didn't say he. I said, you bought me Elden Ring. You bought me Elden Ring. She, I said she. Y'all niggas, all right, bro, whatever. Y'all keep trying to say I said he. Who's your hooping style based after? Great question. I used to be like a, just a, uh, uh, a curry. I was trying to pull up from deep, but then I, I, I kind of developed my game out to Kyrie. I'm like a playmaking shot creator from like 2K17, 18, like, like a, you know what I'm saying? Like I can get nasty and dirty with the cross. He, he, 
he gets in my spot. Pull up, book it. But you know, at, at the same time, I also got the jelly. He so I'm like a Steph, like I got the range. I could pull up from 35 and hit that bitch consistently. You can ask Ken, he's seen it. With a hand in my face, I'm pulling that bitch for game. Way behind the, the half court line. Just, uh, fuck it, uh, I can hit that. But at the same time, I can lock in. Uh, hey. But at the same time, I also got hops. So I could just, hey. it really depends on how I'm feeling that game, on what takeover I need to activate. Y'all really don't think I can hoop for some reason. I will be any of these YouTuber streamers one-on-one. -on -one. It's easy work. Call them out for me. We can set it up. Let's do it. How has life been since you blown up? I don't know, man. It's been different. Like, I just, I haven't really, you know what I'm saying? It's been going at the 200 miles an hour. Like, we're already in May. Now, I remember when this year first started. So, like, bro, I've just been working. I've been grinding. I've been just keep working. I don't know, man. It, it feels good, you know? Life does feel good. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep working, keep grinding. And, but when you pray for shit like this, you gotta be able to handle it. You know what I'm saying? So, when you get everything that you pray for. Uh, do you sell, do you see yourself doing public prank videos in the future? Maybe, but I'm not really a prank person. I'm more of a funny person. So, it depends. If y'all want to see that, let me know down in the comments. I've thought about it, but I don't know too much. We'll see. What's the best way to get over a tough breakup quick? Getting you some money, man. Locking in, working on yourself as a man. Going to the gym, getting you some money. Find out what your passion is. And just going all in and just, you know, that's the best way to get revenge is focusing on yourself. Not fucking all up, but it's not doing all other shit. Just focusing on yourself and getting some money, my nigga. Like, that's the best way to get over a tough breakup quick. You plan on making a content group? By the way, you are the funniest streamer right now. I I, I have thought about that a lot. And uh, I'll be asking y'all who y'all want to see me in that content group with. Y'all throwing some out some good names. But I've definitely thought about making one to join one. Y'all got to let me know, though. Like, who y'all want to see me in there with, bro. I don't know. It's a couple of things out there. It's funny as hell. I'll be cool. We got some good chemistry. So, y'all let me know. Have you ever been in an abusive relationship? Yes, if you watch my one of my story times, I have been in a business relationship. Nigga was kicking me and punching me and shit like that. Nigga had to call the police. I still got a scar on my fucking shoulder. Bitch, you bit me somewhere. I don't know where it's at, nigga. Yeah, I have been in a business relationship, nigga. I don't know how I'll call it abusive. It's more so like, like I said, net at a barbecue. Like, it's just fucking annoying. It, does it hurt? Not really, but it's more so like, all right, brother, just go ahead, bro. If I had to hit you with he, he, he to the chin. Damn. I was playing the Wii yesterday. My fucking shoulder hurt. Shout out to Wii, by the way. Shout out Nintendo. Tips for how to get a mouthpiece like you. First of all, you pause. Because that's crazy to say. Like, you know what I'm saying? It don't sound right when you ask another man, like, you got a mouthpiece. So, get a mouthpiece like me talking to girls, bro. You got to just be confident, bro. You got to realize, bro, a motherfucker can say two things, yes or no. So, what you stressing for? Either she's going to say yes, I find you attractive, here go my number, take me on a date, or no, nigga, you ugly. And, you know, they do be, the women do be doing too much, but you can be able to be a man be like, all right, so you got it, you know what I'm saying, type shit, just walk away. Bro, just be confident, bro. Think about it, you'll probably never see this person ever again in your life. What's the worst that can happen? You know what I'm saying? You can get married or the bitch can scream out, oh, you ugly, get away from me, you look like a, a Loch Ness Monster. So, shit, you gotta you take your chance, my nigga. What age milestone do you think you're gonna stop social media at? Oh, I'm one of those people, I'm gonna go to the wheels fall off. <laughs> nigga, I ain't gonna be one of those motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm retiring at 28, 30. No, no, my nigga, Duke Dennis is 30, he's still doing it. I'm gonna keep going. I need the buzz money, I'm gonna keep going to the wheels fall off. To the fall off allegations become true. So all of a sudden I got a million million subscribers and I'm only getting 12,000 views a video. Oh, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, I'm keep going. And then once I got a couple million in the bank account, I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I can finally retire and, you know, hang my jersey up in the rabbit. Motherfucker, I'm 23. I'm only 23. I'm in the infancy of my 20s. Nigga, I'm gonna keep going with this shit. This shit, so. Shit, you trying to become the first billionaire off YouTube. Any real advice for upcoming content creators or streamers? Nigga, just be yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, there's methods. There's the T-Banks method. There's the casting method. There's a whole bunch of methods, bro. Just, 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 if you're going to copy a method, just make it yours, though. Don't just dick suck because people are going to call you out for it. Like, it's a whole bunch of methods. Just, just, <sighs> stay consistent is number one. Um, use TikTok. Use the most booming app at the time to push your clips out. Get as much clips per and I wouldn't say you need to stream a long time to get clips. You can stream for an hour and get a whole bunch of clips to post on TikTok to get people to convince. And then once you get more people coming, that's when you stream longer. You don't have to do 24-hour streams because that's what the meta is, bro. Just get as much clips as possible. Push out as much clips as possible with TikTok to catch the algorithm. And then just keep going. Stay consistent with that. And then use YouTube to your advantage. Use Instagram Reels. Use TikTok. Like I said, just get your clips out. That's the most important thing is clips, clips, clips. 
and then uh, yeah, just stay consistent and make sure when people come to your stream, the clips are actually what they want to watch. Like I said, you can't be post a 30 second funny story time if someone comes to your, to your stream and the only thing you plan is fucking Arma 3. Niggas are like, what the fuck is this? Or playing Fortnite. Like you better stay consistent with your clips and the stream quality is the same. Because a clip can look crazy quality, but the stream is booty cheeks, my nigga. We need a beard and at least goatee method. Bro, they're just gonna get you some good butt. I don't know what to tell your motherfucking ass shit. Some good butt. I used to have gaps right here. I ain't never put no monoxidil in my beard. I ain't saying I ain't put monoxidil in my hairline, but I definitely ain't never put monoxidil in my beard. Bro, you gotta like brush your shit to, to stimulate the growth, comb your shit out. Like, it's. I can't, nigga, you can't grow a beard. You just an itty bitty baby back bitch. Like, I could just grow. Look at my shit. I got the LeBron shit. See my shit? Oil your shit, comb your shit, brush your shit. That's, that's, bro, if you can't grow a beard, I don't know what to tell your ass. It's not no secret method. You gotta use some monoxidil, nigga. Have any exes try to slide back since their success? If they did, how did they do it? Not even exes, bro. Anybody wants, like, you know what I'm saying? Especially being from the DMV, anybody see you that you want, niggas wanna be like, oh, bro, I'm, I was watching your YouTube videos. And, of course, there's women that try to slide back and just niggas like, that's just the DMV, though. Like, you gotta learn to just navigate that shit and just see, like, oh, and this nigga just wants some this nigga want some money, nigga. Hell no. Nah. You better eat them chicken boneless, chicken wing barbecue, chicken wings and shit. I ain't got no money for your motherfucking ass. But not too much. I definitely had a lot of family talking about, oh, I see you on TikTok. I see you on your YouTube. Nigga, you 58. How you know you work YouTube? How you, what you mean you watching my story times? Nigga, you in your 50s. What you mean? Nigga, you 44. You ain't even graduated high school, but you watch my YouTube story times and shit. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? You still gotta just navigate, niggas. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Uh, What's your nationality, uh, nigga black? I gotta do my 23 and me. I think I got a little bit of Nigerian or something. I don't know, nigga. I just know I'm black. Shit, you know, brother. When did you realize the streaming shit was something you could do seriously full time? The first couple of times I seen clip pages of me going crazy. I was like, holy fuck, that's different. I was like, damn, where did that nigga come from? Niggas are clipping me and shit like that. When I seen that, that's when I realized like, okay, you might actually have something cooking here. I found out I was a side guy after a month in my cook. Now nah, you good. Just keep getting, you know, you good, my nigga. What you complaining for? You, you part-time with full benefits. You got health insurance, dental insurance, eye insurance, hair insurance. You got all the insurances all in one. What you mean? Just don't pay, you even pay for little dates like McDonald's and shit. You don't pay for no real dates here. You getting all the benefits. You getting the butt and you ain't got to worry about the attitude. You getting the neck and you don't have to worry about nagging. My nigga, you tripping. You good, my nigga. Is it gay for a grown-ass man to walk around the house with only an oversized t-shirt? Nah, that's crazy. Cause you gotta think about it. You got the big ass t-shirt on with no underwear and like you got the little tip hanging past the shirt. Yeah, that's... If I seen my dad do that like as a kid and I like had this traumatized event of seeing that shit, I don't think I would ever respect him as a man. Yeah, that's crazy, my nigga. Yeah, that, 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 that I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you ask me like in my own place, would I do something like that? I mean, I'm not gonna confirm. I'm just gonna say if it's comfortable, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I walk around butt naked eating cereal and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? If you just threw on a t-shirt right quick and you got half the butt cheeks hanging out, it's crazy, but I ain't gonna confirm. I'm just gonna say you gotta get comfortable, motherfucker. Uh, how are you so quick with it? Uh, being from the DMV and being able to, like, just join on niggas and just be funny and shit like that. Because if you was chopped growing up, nigga, you had to have some shoes, swag, or be funny. And I ain't have too much shoes, and I ain't had too much swag as y'all seen from pictures on stream. So I had to be funny, motherfucker. So shit, I was just a funny motherfucker. I got a lot of my personality comes from my dad, bro. Like I was just, I'm just, I don't know, bro. Like I'm just a funny one. I'm just, I'm just how I am, bro. It's like this is like really me in real life, though. This ain't just me on stream or YouTube. It's how I am in real life. So you know what I'm saying, I'm shit, nigga. I don't know. You better shit. Wait till I die. I do an autopsy in my brain, nigga, and find out which connection is misfiring or some shit, nigga. I don't know how I'm quick with it, nigga. I was just getting cooked, and I realized I had to cook niggas back, so I started cooking niggas, and I started just being funny. And niggas like, oh, this is like, nigga, you the funniest person I ever met. And then it just went from there. So, what's the best pickup line for approaching women in the club? In the club, it's kind of crazy because it's like loud music is drinking. Like, bro, the best pickup line is waiting for a woman to give you the go ahead. That's really the best advice I can give you. Like, sure, you could just take an extreme shot from 30 feet, even though you don't practice that shot. But if a woman give you the, the look up and down and kind of like the head nod and all this, and then she kind of look away and she's giving you the come approach me eyes, like type shit, that's the best pickup line because you have a 99% shot, 99% chance of making that shot. The only way that you can fuck up and hit the bottom of the rim right underneath the hoop is if you say something. Some outlandish shit but if you go up cool calm and collected and you know she wants you to talk to you you reach out your hand you be respectful hey how you doing you always get to like you have to do certain things to not fail and fuck up 
get her name. Because if you think about it, women don't like to be rushed. So if you go up, hey, can I get your number? Damn, nigga, you ain't even know my name or how I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Go up, be respectful. You you, you can shake her hand or you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? I just want to know. And don't touch her. Don't touch no woman too early. Just be respectful, bro. She wants you to come talk to her. Come talk to her. Take her on a date. The best pickup line is waiting for a woman to tell you to come talk to me, nigga. That's the, that's a 100% shot right there. Um, how you get the name T Banks? Oh my God, I've explained this shit multiple times. It's my last time explaining this. So in the DMV, at one point, it was a trend to put your first initial and then stacks underneath, but replace the A in the stacks with a B. It was like B stacks, C stacks, all this shit. It was, it was like a little trend from like this little, like these little, these dudes I knew or some shit. And I was like, that looks tough, but I always wanted to be different. And I had a lot of dumbass Twitter names, Playboy Tag, Playboy X. It was, I was just trying to find something to, that had like a, a ring to it. Those names were terrible, by the way. Um, I think I had one name, Sai Banks, S-I Banks at one point. I was like, what is also another name for stacks like money? I was like, well, nigga, do get bank. And I was like, banks. And I was like, that's tough, that's tough, that's tough. And I was like, T-Banks. I'm like, that's tough. And I posted a picture, I had a yellow jacket on. I'm saying I had some so I had no, I don't remember what the outfit was. I had a nice fit on with the uh the fragment wands on. And I posted a picture and I put the I put the the, the caption picture was his bank. That shit had like almost a hundred likes. You had a hundred likes on the picture in twenty eighteen, nigga, you were saying something on Twitter. I'm like, damn, I'm going crazy. And I was like, bank, T bank, T bank. That's tough. Another name, another than one of my names was Menace the Messiah. I had a whole bunch of dumbass names, bro. I was like, what the fuck? And I just went to with T Banks. I changed all my YouTube and shit to just T Banks, and it stuck ever since. T Banks. That just it just rings. It's T Banks, nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? I get bank, my nigga. So T Banks. That's just the name. Let's see what else another question we got. How does it feel knowing we're the best community of all time? I do fuck with a lot of y'all, but a lot of y'all are weird, pure social troll too much. We gon' we gon' iron it out. But TBC stand up, man. It's the best community of all time. The Banks community. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. I love y'all, man. 15K members in the Discord. We gonna keep growing shit like that. I love y'all. We going crazy. Y'all don't want some change in young nigga life. And I know y'all can do the same thing as me. So, TBC for life, man. Uh, should I get a TBC tattoo? I might, I might do that. What's your favorite race of women to date? Uh, nigga, black women. I'm not no milk hunter. I'm not no milk man. I'm not no snow bunny connoisseur. I'm not none of that, nigga. I like black women. My precious black queens. Y'all know this. I put them on the pedestal all the time. Black. I've never dated any other race. You know, a bitch come out and say I did, the bitch is lying. Other than that, that's the rest of the questions. All the questions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, that was a quick little QA. Like I said, I'm about to post like, I'm trying to get like, oh, I'm trying, let me not say 20 videos this month. I'm trying to get 10 videos at least this month. You know, like, I'm trying to be more consistent. Nigga trying to hit a million subscribers in two years. I thought I was going to hit it soon, but. I might have fell off. Other than that, man, I hope y'all like this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe to T Banks, T Banks Live, more Banks, T Banks Point of View, T Banks Vods, two Banks, six channels. Niggas trying to make a billion a month off YouTube. All of a sudden, niggas trying, you know what I'm niggas trying to get picked up and signed by YouTube. If y'all like this video, man, like I said, drop a like, drop a comment, drop a sub, and I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm gonna leave calm this time. <laughs>